You're tuned in to Fighting Saints Weekly here on the Dubuque Fighting Saints Facebook page as well as DubuqueFightingSaints.com. Zach Fish is the voice of the Dubuque Fighting Saints with you here in Press Box 1 at the Mystique Community Ice Center as we get you set for an exciting weekend in Dubuque Fighting Saints hockey. Military Appreciation Night is Friday. That's presented by Quick Stop and Dairy Queen. Patriotic uniforms for the Dubuque Fighting Saints. They are sharp. Just got them in this week at the arena. Red, white, and blue accents. The stars and stripes on them. Live auction after the game with proceeds benefiting the Veterans Freedom Center. Also want to thank media partner 101 The River for helping us out for Military Appreciation Night Friday against Tri-City. Busy episode for this edition of Fighting Saints Weekly. Eric's behind the camera. I'm Zach Fish. Let's get to the highlights of last week. The Saints played a pair of games against the Muskegon Lumberjacks. It was a victory on Friday in overtime. The Dubuque Fighting Saints in this contest would put some pucks to the back of the net, but they'd have to come back in the third period of play. Shane Cavanaugh will tie the game on a power play on a jam play in front of the goal. He knocks in the rebound. That made it 2-2. As we went in overtime, Muskegon had taken two penalties in the game. They took their third. Too many men on the ice. The Saints set it up and Phil Boji scored the game-winning goal with the one-timer to give Dubuque a 3-2 victory second straight Friday. They beat Muskegon in overtime. Transitioning into Saturday now for the Fighting Saints against the Jacks, Muskegon would get the victory. They would pick up a pair of goals early in the contest to take the lead over the Saints. Dubuque would cut the lead in the half in the third period. Jason Ford would score the goal for Dubuque. However, Muskegon would add an empty netter. They'd win 3-1, to one. so the Saints split the weekend series. Three straight Saturdays that they have dropped now. All three of their losses have come on Saturday nights in consecutive fashion. But a good weekend in Muskegon, certainly a lot of signs of sharpness for the Fighting Saints. This week, they do get back Carson Kuhlman as well as Shane Eisman and Seamus Malone. All of them played on Tuesday as the Fighting Saints finished their game from October 12th. It was a 3-2 win for Cedar Rapids in a shootout, but Dubuque battled back. They were down 2-0 going into that game. They out that game. They outshot Cedar Rapids 17-2 in the third period. They scored two third period goals and tied the contest up. But Cedar Rapids scored the lone goal of the shootout to get the victory. Saints are 9-3-1 heading into this weekend. Fans, it's time for the Call of the Week, presented by Pinnacle Cellular and Satellite and U.S. Cellular. Make sure to stop by their 4th and Locust and Kennedy Mall locations. Right side face-off circle. Pass to Alex, but it was behind him. Picks it up off the boards to Boji at the point. He's got a cannon. Gets it to Alex. They switch spots. Boji wants it. He gets it from Alex. He winds and fires and scores! Cyril Boji wins it in overtime, and the Fighting Saints claim a 3-2 win here on the road in Muskegon. That was the Call of the Week presented by Pinnacle Cellular and Satellite in U.S. Cellular. U.S. Cellular is beginning to sell Apple products, including the iPhone 5S and iPad Air, this Friday, November 8th. Make sure to stop in at their locations at 4th and Locust or Kennedy Mall to see the new products and also ask about the new shared data plans. A Pinnacle associate will do a free account review to make sure you're on the best plan for your money. Pinnacle Cellular and Satellite, the Tri-State's agent for U.S. Cellular and Direct TV. Phil Boji with that overtime winner for the Dubuque Fighting Saints and OT has been nice to the Fighting Saints so far this year. A couple wins by defensemen against the Jacks. Well, the Fighting Saints will host Military Appreciation Night on Friday, presented by Quick Stop Dairy Queen and media partner 101 The River. And myself and Eric got a chance to go over to the new location. Quick Stop and Dairy Queen have done a lot of exciting things down here by the arena. And on 16th Street, just across from the arena, they're opening up a new Dairy Queen. We got a chance to take a tour of the facility. Quick Stop and Dairy Queen are sponsoring Military Appreciation Night Friday, and it's an exciting time on 16th Street for the company with the upcoming opening of a new Dairy Queen location in the coming weeks. The Dairy Queen will provide Saints fans a great place to grab a treat or a meal as it's on 16th Street right near the arena. Across the street, Quick Stop will celebrate the opening of Dubuque's first compressed natural gas station on Friday at the newly renovated BP. The event takes place from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Friday, and the building, both inside and out, features a new look and a great selection. Friday's event will include a ribbon cutting, other activities such as the unveiling of the new to-go image, a million penny dump for the Children's Miracle Network, a CNG pumping demonstration, and more. More exciting news is coming from Quick Stop and Dairy Queen, with a new convenience store in Fazoli's location planned on 16th Street as construction continues. 
Very cool to see new businesses going in around the arena, especially one of our great partners, Quick Stop and Dairy Queen. They do so much for the community with their Quick Care program, and certainly we can't thank them enough for what they're doing with Military Appreciation Night, as all proceeds from the Jersey Auction will go to the Veterans Freedom Center, a very cool cause and something certainly that is very exciting to see, as we're very excited to go ahead and get these jerseys out there, auction them off after the game. But Friday's event is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to have the color guard. We're going to have a ceremony beforehand, a remembrance, I should say, across the street at the uh, the uh, memorial right over here by the arena at 545. Fighting Saints players and coaches will attend that. We'll have a U.S. Army oath of enlistment during the game in the second intermission. A lot of great stuff, and we're going to get the crowd chanting USA. So red, white, and blue, if you got it, wear it. We'll have special T-shirts available, more info coming on that. But certainly looking forward to Military Appreciation, presented by Quick Stop and Dairy Queen. Military veterans, as well as active members of the military with an ID or proper form of identification, get $3 off a ticket purchase for up to six tickets. Make sure you take advantage now, 563-583-6880, or visit DubuqueFightingSaints.com. Come out and join us and salute the country for Military Appreciation Night on Friday. Saints take on the Tri-City Storm. They have struggled so far this year as the Saints will look to get a win. They only played the Storm once last season at home, a 4-1 win on opening night when Christian Fry was on the opposite side of the ice. Mike Smatula had a pair of goals in that game. This year, the Saints will take on Des Moines on Saturday for the first time. I beg your pardon, Cedar Rapids. Des Moines a little bit down the road. Cedar Rapids on the road for the Fighting Saints. Jumping ahead of myself here as the Saints and Riders will go head-to-head -head again on Saturday. That game from the stable on Saturday will be on the air on Super Hits. 106.1 FM, Saints and Riders meet once again. That will be a Prairie Farms Cowbell Cup game. Des Moines is next week and much more excitement next week for the Dubuque Fighting Saints. Certainly looking forward to it. But first and foremost, military appreciation on Friday. Get your tickets, 563-583-6880. For our partners at Quick Stop Dairy Queen, for Eric behind the camera, I'm Zach Fish, the voice of the Fighting Saints. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.